Welcome to Dynamics Ignite from Technology Management. In this video, we are going to look at Kitik Stock Management within Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. In Microsoft Dynamics NAV, you can set up multiple locations which allow companies to manage business operations within one database. A location is defined as a place that handles physical placement and quantities of items and a stock keeping unit is defined as an item or a variant of an item at a specific location. Companies with multiple locations can add replenishment information, addresses and some financial posting information on the location level on a stock keeping unit card, which allows them to replenish variants of the same item for each location and order items for each location on the basis of location specific replenishment information. I am logged on to Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 as a sales order processor. I'm going to look at item 70,003. For this item, we have two stock keeping units set up, one for the blue location and one for the yellow location. On the blue stock keeping unit, the requisition system is purchase and the yellow stock keeping unit requisition is transfer. This item is purchased from vendors which are located close to the blue warehouse. So when this vendor ships their order, the stock will arrive at this warehouse. The yellow location will not purchase this item. They will get the goods transferred from the blue location. To view the transactions of an item, we go to Entries. Here we can see all the historical transactions. NAV assigns a number to an entry when a posting takes place. Against item 70,003, we can see a transfer of 31 that were taken from the blue location and transferred to the yellow location. The out log is the in-transit location the goods get moved to when shipped from the blue location until they are received in the yellow location. In statistics, we can see different views of the statistics for this item based on criteria entered. If I show the lines as profit calculation, the columns as location, and I filtered on today's date and I'm viewing by month, I can quickly see the sales, cost and profit details for this particular day. In NAV, you can set up an unlimited number of unit of measure codes. If we look at item 80,100, printing paper, you can see that this item has a base unit of measure of box. The quantity of unit measure is one. The sales unit of measure is pack, which has a quantity unit measure of 0 0.20. And the purchase unit is pallet, which is a quantity unit of measure of 32. Each alternative unit of measure is related to the base unit of measure field on the item card through the conversion factor. When a purchase order is raised for a quantity of one, it will look at the quantity per unit of measure and receive a quantity of 32 into stock. Item variants in NAV are useful if you have a large number of almost identical items that vary in a small way, for example, color. Instead of setting up each variant as a separate item, you can set up one item and then specify the various colors as a variant of that item when entering orders, etc. Cross-references can be set up against items. A cross-reference can be a barcode or a code used by a vendor or customer. Here I am entering the sales order for customer 10,000 by entering the customer's part number 12345 in the cross-reference field. This will retrieve our NAV item code. We can see in the sales line details that there is a substitute for this item. Item substitutes can be set up in NAV so that when the quantity of items required on a sales order exceeds the quantity that is available in inventory, a message will appear to inform the user that a substitute exists. Also sell LS150 in 150 watt has appeared in the sales line as this is an extended text that can be added against the item card. Against item LS75, we have added an extended text to prompt the user inputting the order to suggest the customer purchase this in 150 watt. If a tick is placed in the automatic extended text, then the text against an item will populate as soon as LS75 is keyed into the sales order. If this is not ticked, the user can manually enter the extended text into the sales order. Item availability can be viewed in numerous ways. Buy event shows projective inventory figures by demand or supply event. 
The window only has information about dates when figures change because of an event. Filters can be applied to include projected demand from forecasts and blanket orders and projected supply from uncommitted orders that are suggested by the planning worksheet. Inventory availability by periods shows how the inventory level for an item will develop over time according to the period that you select. By variant shows how inventory level of an item develops over time according to its variant that is selected. By location shows how inventory level for an item develops over time according to the location that is selected. The item availability by bomb level window provides availability figures for bills and material that tell you how many of a parent you can make based on the availability of the child items at lower levels. Any item that has a bomb structure, assembly bomb or production bomb, is shown in the window as a collapsible line, which you can expand to see the underlining components and any lower level sub-assemblies with their own collapsible bomb structure. The item availability by timeline window provides a graphical view of an item's projective inventory based on future supply and demand events, including the planning suggestions. The result is a graphical representation of the inventory profile. Supply is represented by the front side of the bar rising on the y-axis and demand is represented by the rear side of the bar falling on the y-axis. The horizontal top bar represents the line that is the projective inventory that exists. You can modify planning suggestions and certain supply orders behind the graphical information by dragging the elements along the y-axis to change the quantity or the x-axis to change the date. You can also open the document from here. In this video we have reviewed some of the key stock management features within Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. Inventory management keeps the supply chain flowing and functionality within this area provides excellent customer service to our customers.